You know what? I don't have any options for pain control. I'm stuck on a bed. No, I can't even go near that bed. That bed is as hard as a rock. And I was promised that that bed would be returned. And now it can't be returned. The bed is as hard as a rock. And I mean, I cry I'm in so much pain. Now I can't lay down because my throat is closing. I've been upright 24 hours a day for I don't know how long has how long has has passed a week and a half god i mean i i feel like i'm sitting on broken bones my hips my leg sockets i have no options for pain relief because whatever damage has happened to my heart or lungs my breathing respiratory has been affected by this medical injury so I can't take a respiratory depressant I can't take pain relief I'm I don't know if I could take any other kind of pain control I take Tylenol and ibuprofen and they don't help I can't take any anything for sleep I can't take anything for sleep I can't take anything that is really relaxing because it will affect my breathing or my throat my throat closing I used to take two magnesium at bed for um, gastrointestinal magnesium is really good for you a lot of people need magnesium I had to stop taking my magnesium at bed because it's like getting hit by a train and it affects my breathing it feels like I am struggling to breathe and my throat is closing so for a while I stopped magnesium now well for about two weeks I was taking one magnesium at bed at supper and that almost makes me feel like I'm gonna pass out my digestive tract needs magnesium and I feel like I can't take it because it wipes me out and it affects my breathing. It slows down, slows down my muscle function to breathe or my actual lungs. Um, I can't take it at night because it feels like it's making my throat close. Then after researching, I found out that Magnesium is contraindicated for myasthenia gravis, a neuromuscular disease. So I do have uh, polyperipheral neuropathy, and that could be func uh, affecting my lungs and the muscles that it takes to breathe, the diaphragm, etc. I I can't take anything for sleep. So, you know, it's it's a really precarious situation here. And I don't think people realize I I I really can't deal with, you know, stress and crisis in my f face and <coughs> Just being here day to day is a crisis, but being threatened constantly about the house is just over the top. And I can't deal with appointments. I can't deal with this house hasn't been cleaned for a few years. There's no way my mind can 
can do any of this until I start sleeping. I can't make decisions. I can't, I can't, um, direct other people to do it. I can't monitor other people. My house flooded a, two years ago during this crisis. I was sleeping zero or one or two hours a night when my entire house flooded and I had to tell the contractors to leave. I can't handle the stress. I can't, I can't direct people. I can't make decisions. I can't pick out paint color for the wall. I can't pick out carpet. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm too ill. What an incredible thing to be proving and screaming nonstop and explaining to people who don't believe that you're ill and, and to people who can't comprehend what it's like to be ill. I don't think my advocate understands how ill I am and they do not ask questions. If they don't understand something, they don't ask. And it's really important to ask questions.